air fairly widely, so it turns a good deal milder through this week. Colder towards the end, rain and gales eventually starting to ease. Take care. This is BBC World News Today. I'm Samantha Simmons. Our top stories. Thousands in Iraq pay their respects to the top Iranian general, Qasem Soleimani, killed on Friday by US airstrike in Baghdad. This is the scene live in Najaf. Australia's raging bushfires are now so strong and so hot, they're creating their own weather systems, making them even harder to control. And China sacked its official in charge of relations with Hong Kong six months after the start of the anti-Beijing protests. Hello, a very warm welcome to World News Today. The Iraqi military has confirmed that several rockets have landed in Baghdad near the U.S. Embassy and at the Balad Air Base north of the capital. The base houses U.S. forces and the Baghdad attacks targeted the Green Zone and the neighboring district of Dridria. No group has said that it carried out the strikes, but Iranian-backed militias have carried out similar attacks recently. Well, the news comes as tens of thousands of people have packed the streets of Baghdad for the funeral of Iran's General Qasem Soleimani, and the others killed by U.S. drone strikes. The body of General Soleimani will be returned to Iran for further funeral ceremonies. Iranian officials have promised severe revenge for his death. Our Middle East correspondent Quentin Somerville reports. They came in the thousands to honour Qasem Soleimani, and they called him a hero. To many more in Iraq and beyond, he was the region's principal villain. Familiar chants rang out, death to America, death to Israel. He served his 